Welcome back to Transfer Talk on Football Daily for another dose of gossip and rumours from the Premier League. From manager sackings to huge pre-contract agreements, it's all happening. So here are the stories you need to be aware of. Let's go. Arsenal are looking to capitalise on their current golden patch by tying down their young stars to new long-term deals. Bakayo Saka is in talks over a massive contract worth £200,000 per week, while William Saliba is in line for a bumper pay rise of his own after finally making his mark in North London. The club also want Gabriel Martinelli to extend. However, to do so they may have to fend off Chelsea, who are reportedly paying close attention to the Brazilian situation. According to the Daily Mail, Graham Potter and Todd Bowley are both big fans of the 21-year-old old, and they're not alone, with the report saying that several elite clubs have made admiring glances towards Martinelli in recent months. Arsenal's number 11 would be a great addition to any team. However, we're struggling to see any value in this story whatsoever. For a start, Martinelli's current deal doesn't expire until 2024, and the Gunners have the option to extend that by a further year. So Edu and Mikel Arteta have plenty of time to convince the young forward to stay, let alone be bullied into a sale. And the player himself has shown no indication that he's thinking about leaving the Emirates. In a recent interview with ESPN Brazil, he announced, If I can stay, I'll stay at Arsenal my whole life. Life. I want to conquer things, I want to stay here win titles, with these wonderful fans, my teammates. We have no doubt at all that Chelsea are interested in Martinelli, but pursuing the former Ituano star right now might be a huge waste of time. Even if they can't land Martinelli, Chelsea will be doing plenty of business next summer. And one man who does look set to arrive at Stamford Bridge is Christopher Nkunku. After it was revealed, the Blues have agreed a contract with the RB Leipzig sensation. As per the German outlet Bild, Chelsea are in conversations with the German club over activating the French forward 60 million euro release clause, setting in motion the first major transfer of the summer. But to read more about this story, scan the QR code on screen right now to access the Sky Sports Transfer Center. As instead of discussing Nkunku, we want to dig into the story linking Chelsea with another RB Leipzig star, Josko Gavardio. Now, this isn't the first time they've pursued the Croatian defender. In the dying moments of the summer window, the Blues bid around 90 million euros for Gavardio, only to see their approach rebuffed. The 20-year-old went on to sign a new deal with the Red Bulls until 2027. However, rather than secure him to the East German club, it could be the contract that pushes Gavardio away, as it includes a new 50 million euro buyout clause. For big spending Chelsea, that may be too tantalising to ignore. And according to The Telegraph, the wheels are already in motion for Gavardio to leave Leipzig for London. What's more, the article believes Todd Bowley is trying to seal the deal for the former Dinamo Zagreb star at closer to 40 million euros, which would represent a steal. After all, the Croatian international is regarded as one of the best defensive prospects in the world. Nothing is confirmed, but Chelsea look busy. But Blues fans, how excited are you for the next stage of your revolution? Revolution, let us know in the comments. It really is sacking season in English football right now. In the Championship, Middlesbrough have made Chris Wilder the eighth manager to lose his job already this campaign. And in the Premier League, Bruno Lage followed Scott Parker and Thomas Tuchel into unemployment following his dismissal from Wolves. Next up could be Nottingham Forest boss Steve Cooper. On Monday night, his expensively assembled squad were hammered 4 0 away to struggling Leicester, piling even more pressure on his shoulders. The result leaves Forest flat bottom in the Premier League with just one win and the worst goal difference in the division. Cooper may have worked wonders to get the Reds back into the top flight, but that goodwill looks to be rapidly fading. Should he go, then the Telegraph has made Rafa Benitez favourite to take over at the city ground. The Spaniard is reportedly one of several managers that Forest owner Evangelos Maranakis is eyeing up, along with former Burnley boss Sean Deitch. Now Benitez has been out of work since being fired by Everton last Christmas. His short stint with the Toffees was by far the lowest point in the 62-year-old's career, but it shouldn't be forgotten what he has achieved with the likes of Liverpool, Inter Milan and Valencia. And more importantly, he managed to keep Newcastle United competitive during their darkest days under Mike Ashley. His vast experience could also be the key to blending the 22 new signings that arrived at the city ground this summer too. But Forest fans, is Benitez the big name manager that Maranakis should be looking at, or should he stick with Steve Cooper? Let us know down below. Leicester City's Yuri Tielemans was a hot topic in the summer, with clubs such as Manchester United, Arsenal and Newcastle all vying for his signature. Nothing came of it, leaving the Belgium to run into the final 12 months of his deal. And now, the chance to capture one of Europe's most coveted midfielders for free has enticed in a whole new host of giants. According to Calcio Mercato, Real Madrid, Liverpool and Juventus all want the former Monaco man. And it's not hard to see why, with the 25-year-old scoring 25 and assisting 25 in 100. 67 appearances for Leicester across all competitions. 
Having rebuilt his career with the Foxes, Tielemans is ready to step back up among the elite. Yet his future could depend on what happens next to Jude Bellingham. The Englishman is a prime target for Real Madrid and Liverpool, meaning whoever misses out on the Borussia Dortmund sensation could plant for Tielemans instead. Juventus, however, would be an excellent option. Although Paul Pogba and Leandro Paredes only joined in the summer, the Frenchman is still yet to play, and the long-term futures of Manuel Locatelli and Adrian Rabiot could create an opportunity for the Belgian international to thrive in Turin. Tielemans, for his part, has remained tight-lipped on his future, recently telling press I didn't leave Leicester in the summer as I always said the project had to be the right one. Just because things are getting worse now at Leicester doesn't mean I should regret staying. He played 80 minutes in their recent 4-0 drumming of Nottingham Forest, helping the Foxes to their first win of the campaign. He's definitely leaving but where should he go next? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Now to a big story concerning the man of the moment, Erling Haaland. It goes without saying that the Norwegian international has absolutely demolished all expectations since arriving at Manchester City. He has scored a ridiculous 14 times in 8 league appearances, including 3 different hat-tricks. Combined with his Champions League exploits, and the former Dortmund man is on 17 for the campaign and we've only just entered October. Fans of the Sky Blues are naturally salivating at what they could expect to achieve with Haaland leading the line. However, various reports in Spain suggest that City may not be able to enjoy the forward for as long as they think, if Real Madrid have anything to do with it. According to Mundo Deportivo, Los Blancos have a specific buyout clause in Haaland's contract with the Premier League champions that lets them do business for £174 million in the summer of 2024 and then £152 million a year later. Given how much they were prepared to spend on Kylian Mbappe last January, that looks more than enticing for the Madrid outfit. To add to City's concerns, Haaland's father and advisor recently told the Times his son wanted to try himself in all of Europe's major leagues, hinting at a two and a half year stay in England. That's despite his City contract running until 2027. However, the City Football Group have a plan. Sport in Spain believe they will offer Haaland improved terms as early as next summer, removing any Real Madrid clause in the deal. Considering he already earns over 350k per week, the 22-year-old will become the highest paid player in the squad, ahead of Kevin De Bruyne. It may require serious money, but on current form, he looks worth every single penny. Finally, we have an update on the Cristiano Ronaldo saga at Manchester United. Rightly or wrongly, Eric Ten Hag has relegated the legendary Portuguese international to the bench. In the space of just seven games, Ronaldo has gone from Manchester United's top scorer last season to now only playing a mere 207 minutes of football in the Premier League, with his only goal all season coming from the penalty spot against Sheriff Tiraspol in the Europa League. The latest low point in his Red Devils return was being an unused substitute in a brutal 6-3 defeat against Manchester City, leading many to conclude that his time at Old Trafford is up. Let's not forget Ronaldo wanted to leave the club all summer after failing to qualify for the Champions League, but undeterred by the noise, Ten Hag insisted on holding on to the striker past the summer deadline. Yet the Telegraph now believes the Dutchman has changed his stance, meaning the five times Ballon d'Or winner will be free to leave in the January transfer window if a suitable offer arrives. But just where that's coming from is anyone's guess. The likes of Bayern Munich, Chelsea, PSG and Atletico Madrid all rejected the opportunity to sign the 37-year-old in the summer, and aside from interest in the Middle East, it's difficult to see where a new suitor will arrive from. But one thing is for sure, CR7 doesn't deserve to spend his final days on the bench at United. So that was Transfer Talk for another week, but which stories do you think are total nonsense and which stories can you actually see happening? Let us know in the comments down below. As always, subscribe to Football Daily with notifications switched on and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.